Houston, say again, please. Uh, Houston, we've had a problem. Mara Shokra. You want one of my captors. I will not amuse you any more than I have the other humans. Leave me in peace. You're a prisoner. Who put you there? I'm in a cage, am I not? I've been placed here by the Chantry. I am Sten of the Beresad, the vanguard of the Kunari peoples. I am Sky. Pleased to meet you. You mock me. Or you show manners I have not come to expect in your lands. Though it matters little now, I will die soon enough. This is a proud and powerful creature, trapped as prey for the Darkspawn. If you cannot see a use for him, I suggest releasing him for Mercy's sake alone. Mercy? I wouldn't have expected that from you. I would also suggest that Alistair take his place in the cage. <laughs> yes, that's what I would have expected. I suggest you leave me to my fate. I find myself in need of skilled help. No doubt. What help do you seek? I am sworn to defend the land against the Blight. The Blight? Are you a Grey Warden, then? Yes, I am. Surprising. My people have heard legends of the Grey Warden's strength and skill. Though I suppose not every legend is true. Would the Revered Butler let you free? Perhaps if you told her the Grey Wardens need my assistance. It seems as likely to bring my death as waiting here. Okay. Farewell, then. Eaten alive by Darkspawn. That's cruel. I wonder why the revered mother's so afraid of him. Let's go get him out there then. Here it is, here it is. I have the right to charge right past it. You profit from their misfortune. I should have the Templars give away everything in your carts. You wouldn't dare. Any of you step too close to my goods and I'll... It's so nice to see everyone working together in a crisis. Warms the heart. Oh, you there. You look able. Would you care to make a tiny profit helping a beleaguered businessman? Um... Why would I want to help you? Didn't I mention profit? He is charging outlandish prices for things people desperately need. Their blood is filling his pockets. Tis only survival of the fittest. All of these Cretans would do the same in his shoes, given the chance. I have limited supplies. The people decide what those supplies are worth to them. You bought most of your wares from these very people last week. Now they flee for their lives, and you want to talk business? Look, stranger. I have a hundred silvers if you drive this rabble off, starting with that priest. I'm an honest merchant, nothing more. Um, you don't think you're being unscrupulous? Would it help these folks if they could buy no goods at all? They spend their very last coin because they are desperate, and this man preys upon them as surely as the bandits outside the city. Ah, I'm not arguing anymore. Drive off this woman and get your hundred silvers. Otherwise, I'm taking my wagon and leaving. Uh, I think you can compromise and still make a profit, no? And hear more belly aching? I'd rather take my goods back to Denerim. Hmm. I try my best. Time to go. Fine. May your heartlessness bring you exactly what you deserve. A fine sentiment, if I've ever heard one. You're so nice. I bet you make allies everywhere you go. Ha! <laughs> Serves that wench right. You have my thanks. And 100 silvers, yes? And a discount. Right. Fair enough. But only you. Let's see what you got. This way. The problem is if you... And beware the urchins. They have grabby little hands. If you don't do that... Or if your persuasion's higher, obviously you can make him stay. But he'll just leave and then there's no shop here. Which is the last thing we bloody needed, to be fair. Because <laughs> my inventory's full, people. Um... The 
I might use that in a minute. Uh, try to remember which. Th yeah, it must be the longbow that's better. The ash one. Ashes tier two. Havard's Aegis. Don't remember that. Warden Recruit Shield is probably not much. It's tier one. Not really up to much, is it? Morrigan could wear those right enough, but she's probably wearing something that's better already. I think her outfit's an all-in-one jobber, so the minute you put stuff on her, you have to kit her out completely. a bit here. Yeah. Still got 60 of 80 used up though. Still quite a lot, isn't it? That's a tier 3, that axe there. Okay, so we've got him. We'll uh, we'll it's let us pick stuff up again. We'll go and uh, sort this guy out getting out the cage. Yes. What can I do for you now? I want to talk about Sten, the canary who you imprisoned. It might have been kinder to execute him, but I leave his fate to the Maker. Why does he interest you? Is there any way I can convince you to release him? What did he do? He butchered an entire farmhold. Only one of the youngest hid long enough to survive. The child said his father had found the canary gravely wounded and took him in. That kindness was repaid with murder. The bandsman found the canary just standing amidst the carnage. He did not resist them. Are you certain he did it? He confessed quite readily, but would give no reason for the crime. Even the Caesar knights who apprehended him were disturbed by the carnage. However docile he appears, do not be fooled. That canary is a danger. What if this causes an incident with his people? The Maker demands justice, regardless of his race. Is there any way I can convince you to release him? Then his next victims might count you and me as their murderers. I was thinking you could release him into my custody. To defend against the Blight? Perhaps that is a form of atonement. But are you certain you can control him? Hmm. If you prefer, I could invoke the right of conscription. If not, I will kill him. Problem solved. Uh, conscription. I... No, I cannot. 
There will be too much trouble for us if we are seen cooperating with you. Oh, for fuck's sake. <laughs> but the Darkspawn are the real enemy here. The Maker cares no less for that Canary's victims than for the thousands who fell in Ostagar. Now, good day. Yes? What can I do for you now? Uh, right, we're a bit stuck. May the Maker guard you, Grey Wolf. Unless I can persuade her, I'm not going to threaten her because that might kick off a massive fight. Uh, okay, I never had that problem before, so I must have upgraded my persuasion. The problem is, I'm pretty sure this place gets trashed, so there's only one chance to get this guy out. Do you really know what's going on here? The blight, the civil war. I really wonder how... You got a bed for the night. You taken care of. <laughs> What's going on? Ever since good King Kalen passed, refugees and soldiers have been passing through. I'm the elder here and I've my hands full making sure refugees don't turn to petty theft or worse. <laughs> Sir Bryant at the Chantry has seen to matters of defence and such. He'd have more of an ear for your type. Too much to do, and not enough time. Help? I, need, uh, I can't speak. Need any help? I don't suppose you know anything of tonics, medicines, or herbs. I know a bit about herbalism. Then you may be able to do us a lot of good. All manner of travellers come through, many injured or sick. We do our best, but we're out of supplies. There's medicinal herbs in the woods to the north. If you make a few poultices, I'll scrape together some sort of payment. I'll write all you need to know in this note here. Uh, okay, can we give ready the ones we've got already? Have any luck finding herbs in the woods? I didn't need them, here you go. This will help many people. You're a good sort, you know. Thank you. Uh... Thanks for the poultices. They may save some. I am done. As if we needed more we fighting here. We were lucky. Here. We had the coins to pay the toll to those is. bandits. Many didn't. Stop looking at me, Mungo. I have nothing you want. Why do you keep staring at me so, you flea-ridden beast? Can you not tell when you are not wanted? I enjoy company of creatures of the wild, not stench-ridden domesticated wolves. And he persists. Maddening! <laughs> Alright, every corner. Right, well the only place we haven't done is the pub, I think. Save before we go in. Where are you going? We're on the. I don't think we are where I think we are. Am I? Pub's over here, isn't it? Silly boy. So Terran Logan. Well, look what we have here then. I think we've just been blessed. Uh-oh. Loghain's men. This can't be good. Didn't we spend all morning asking about a woman by this very description, and everyone said they hadn't seen her? It seems we were lied to. Gentlemen, surely there's no need for trouble. Liliana! These are no doubt simply more poor souls seeking refuge. They're more than that. Now stay out of our way, sister. You protect these traitors, you'll get the same as them. It looks like he wants a fight. I'm happy to oblige. What makes you think we're traitors? 
Tern Logang claims the Grey Wardens betrayed the King. Or haven't you heard? Enough talk! Take the Warden into custody. Kill this sister and anyone else that gets in your way. Right, let's make this quick. More enemies Good. They've learned their lesson and we can all stop fighting now. I don't want the reporting to Loghain. The Grey Wardens didn't betray King Kaelin. Loghain did. They aim to butcher us. They deserve no mercy. Take, the me take a message to Loghain. W what do you want to tell him? The Grey Wardens know what really happened. I'll tell him right away. Now. Thank you. I apologize for interfering. But I couldn't just sit by and not help. And who are you anyhow? Let me introduce myself. I am Liliana, one of the lay sisters of the Chantry here in Lothring. Oh, I was. And is there something you wanted from me? Those men said you are a Grey Warden. You will be battling the Darkspawn, yes? That is what Grey Wardens do. I know after what happened you will need all the help you can get. That's why I'm coming along. Why is Suriga to come with us? The Maker told me to. The Maker is on my side. Welcome aboard them. Then... you believe me? <gasps> I knew the Maker had sent a true dream. A vision that by serving you, I serve his holy plan. Perhaps your skull was cracked worse than Mother thought. Thank you. I appreciate being given this chance. I will not let you down. Alright, well... We're going to keep her with us for a bit. Let old Axel go for a little while. Indeed. Does however mean we've got two rogues, but anyway. What the hell? Christ. What's happened here? I'll have no fighting in my kitchen. At what now? What's it now? Oh. <laughs> that glitched a bit, didn't it? That guy shouldn't have been in there. You're here about food. Take it up with that bleeding runt by the chantry. I got other gear to sell. Show me what you got. All oh, right, I didn't realise he was in it. <laughs> Could have sorted the guy out outside, no? Just play what the inky What do you wish of me? Oh, nothing. Please, I must continue playing, else I earn no coin tonight. I want to go home. Is that not the elf? Oh no, they're human. I thought it was the elf family. <laughs> I'm stuck. There we go. I'm wondering now we've got the Chantry woman with us if the woman will let us have the key to the cage. Did you speak to that knight yesterday? He said he was from Ring. Let's go and find out. So, let me get this straight. You were a cloistered sister? You must have been a brother before you became a Templar. No? I never actually became a Templar. The amount of side conversations in this game is just ridiculous. You know, when they're talking, when they're walking around, there's loads of them. 
Good day, Sister Liliana. I'm surprised to see you're still in Lothering. It is good to see you as well, Your Reverence. Is there something I can do for you, then? I want to speak about Sten. Again? We have already discussed this, and I told you I would not release the creature. Uh, well, you can... will you not reconsider your stance? And what do you say on this, Liliana? You know your friend better than I. These are... unusual times, Your Reverence. With us, the Kunari might do some good. I am sure of it, in fact. Were things not so desperate? Very well, I trust you. Take these keys to his cage and make her watch over you. Thank you, Your Reverence. Your trust is not misplaced. Alright, well that's why I didn't struggle before. I must have got her before I went and spoke to Sten. I don't think I ever got all characters. There's a trophy, there's a achievement for getting all the characters in the game. And I don't think I ever got it. Must have missed somebody. They say your mother is Flemeth, a witch of the Kukari Wilds. They also say that washing your feet in winter makes you catch cold in the head, but we all know that is not true. But sometimes they are right. You wish something more of me. I have the key to open your cage. I confess, I did not think the priestess would part with it. Does it matter? You can be free. She agreed to release you to my custody. So be it. Set me free and I will follow you against the Blight. How can you help us exactly? I have spent my life in the Vanguard. I know war. And your lands need all the help they can get. Very well. And so it is done. I will follow you into battle. In doing so, I shall find my atonement. And what if I do... what if I don't lead you to your atonement? Then I will find it myself. May we proceed. I am eager to be elsewhere. Stick with what we've got at the minute, maybe. I think he's a big two-handed... ...guy, I think. Definitely need a mage. We're a rogue. So... Yeah, the argument at the moment is Liliana's the... Uh, the one we don't need because she's another rogue. We'll stick with it for now because I need to get kit out Liliana, which I haven't done yet. I think we're just about done in this area. I think there's a bear to fit, fight out here somewhere, if I remember rightly. Hello. The task is it's finished. Let's take a look at Liliana. Let's give her some kit. Leather armor. Uh, I've not got anything better than that for her. Well, it seems I sold everything of use, didn't I? <laughs> I've not even got a second dagger to give her in a minute. Uh, 
nice. I can put an axe in one hand and a dagger in the other. That'll do for now. gonna last long. Giant spiders. It shall be done. Whoa, that's not good. But no, we're all right. Beautiful sunset this evening. Distinctive landmark, but otherwise unremarkable at this time. Okay. Very well. Stun me, you little git. Ooh, two, two down, people. This one. Okay, done with you now. Well, well. well, two girls went down. One of your party members was knocked out during combat. Any sustainability the party had, but okay. I think, to be fair, I haven't sorted out them healing themselves, and we've got a bit of armor there, Liliana can have. Now we need to yeah. use what now?
so be it. Lesser injury kit. Get ourselves back to normal. Do this. Do that. Liliana needs to get some kit we've just picked up if she can wear it. I mean, said that, might be good for us. Don't know how good it was. Leather helm, rough. Hmm. Canary thickened cap, reinforced. How heavy is it though? Oh, it's light. Okay, wasn't quite as spectacular right. pickups as I thought. Chest over here though. Splint mail. Oh, Leona's got pretty awesome boots on already. Pretty sure there is a bear down here somewhere. Oh, we can't run up there, honestly. <laughs> really? Might be worth saving it after that fight, to be fair. It was stun me before I get a chance to stun them. Using up a lot of pulses now, though. Gonna have to start making them. Dark spawn. Blimey. I shall do it. Mighty time arrival there, my friend. I'm much obliged. 
You are welcome. The name's Bodon Fedek, merchant and entrepreneur. This here is my son, Sandal. Say hello, my boy. Hello. Road's been mighty dangerous these days. Mind if I ask what brings you out here? Perhaps we're going the same way. I doubt you want to travel with the Grey Warden. It's a bit complicated, but you're welcome to come along. I'm not going the same way, trust me. Uh, Grey Wardens? Hmm. My, that does rather explain a lot. No offence, but I suspect there's more excitement on your path than my boy and I can handle. Allow me to bid you farewell and good fortune, though. Goodbye. Now then, let's get this mess cleaned up, shall we? Oh. <laughs> Yeah, that was slightly unfortunate. I was hoping they were going to come with us. We'll be off as soon as this mess is cleaned up. Thank you, Colonel, for all your assistance. Well, that's the way out. sworn that there was some sort of bear or something in this uh, there's a quest I don't know why I've got a bear in my head it could have been those spiders right now That was a sudden and brutal dead end, wasn't it? Well, I think most definitely we've finished that quest on the bandits, which would be all the bandits we've just killed in those uh, areas there. We picked up that board from the uh, that quest from the board at the chantry place. Where are you from? Blessed are the peacekeepers, champions of the just. And that was it, I think. Quest handed in. Yeah, when the bears attack, there you go. A thanks to the villagers who've opened their barns and crofts to the refugees in these dark times. The Trantry regularly hears praise from your from our visitors and your virtuous deeds are mentioned in many prayers. Sadly, there is a lonely boy in the village whose mother, good wife Sarah, is missing as she has been missing for the better part of a week. Okay, so we need to find her. I've got a feeling there might be one in the same quest as it happens. But let's go back out and have a look. That'll be why I remember a bear, people. This episode has gone on much longer than we would thought. <laughs> that would be going for an hour and a half, people. Hello. Wolves. As you say. Team. 
quite sure why these walls are carrying health fortresses, but there you are. <laughs> they just do. Oh, no. You found the body of the boy's mother and have recovered her keepsake. We've got to level up, people. For Alistair. Ooh. He's got a specialization. He's Templar, yeah. Strength 20. Dexterity, willpower. Um... His willpower's falling behind a little bit. Gives him more stamina to do moves, doesn't it? The warrior adopts a challenging posture that increases enemy hostility with each melee attack. A mocking bellow catches the attention of nearby foes, increasing the hostility was a warrior, taking off everyone else. Uh, improved combat training. The character has learned to compensate for the weight of a shield in combat and no longer suffers the attack penalty while using shield defense. Nice. Yeah, it's quite useful that. You put your key ones on the button presses and then you can have more in the wheel. Uh, sure, we've still got to find a bear out here. Hey, hey. Something's moving around. Jesus Christ, how many bears? Let us dispatch them! And quickly! I shall do it. Surround it! Jesus Christ. It shall be done. Very well. Nice work. Well, that should be it. That's our way out. Right, we'll hand these in and then we'll get ourselves on to the next part, people. No sprint button, sadly, in this game. <laughs> Blessed are the peacekeepers, champions of the just. And the stars stood still, the winds did quiet, and all animals of earth and air held their breath. All was silent in prayer and thanks. 50 shiny silver and a level up for our main character. Thank you. Board is empty. And I think we are done here, people. Oh, is uh, Cunning is also a good one to get up. Which is... Um, Most skills such as herbalism or combat tactics require a quick mind to master and an observant eye can more easily find weaknesses in enemy armour, yeah. So it's a good one to uh, to do as well alongside your dexterity and willpower. So... Quick stepping rogue can more easily outmaneuver opponents, granting a wider flanking angle that makes backstabs easy to achieve. 
Actually, there's this uh, stealth one. Strikes at a target once, dealing normal damage as well as a stunning. Okay. We didn't seem to get a point to spend the herbalism or anything there, did we? What's that all about? We mustn't get one every time. Oh, there's a point. I'm wondering if one of these people sells a backpack. friend care to take advantage of your discount this way and beware the urchins they have grabby little hands mm, he doesn't have one Check the guy in the pub, and if he doesn't have one, we can be off. Uh, yeah, I'll do it in the pub. Actually, now that I'm thinking about it, I think you can oh, you can trash stuff in your menu, can't you? Yeah, move to junk. Forgot about that. I think you only get one opportunity to pick these backpacks up, so if you miss them. It could be a problem. You're here about food. Take it up with that bleeding runt by the chantry. I got other gear to sell. Nope, don't look like it. You're here about food. Take it up with that bleeding runt by the chantry. I got other gear to sell. We're carrying far too much for someone that's uh, <laughs> trying to get rid of stuff, uh, trying to keep it light. Ah, don't do that for. Oh, it's only a guard shield. It's fine. I really need to get to a camp so I can see what it is that's of use and not of use at the minute. Alright, we can go off to our next, I think. 
I'm thinking Redcliffe before we do anything else. Lots to be done. What can we do? And that's the wrong You're way for a start, Steve. Morrigan. Tell me something I do not know. But you are always dressed in such rags. It suits you, I suppose. A little tear here, a little rip there to show some skin. I understand. You understand I lived in a forest, I hope. Maybe we could get you in a nice dress. Yeah. Now. Silk. No. We don't know what was said. You're a warden. I don't know if you killed King Kalen, and make her forgive me, I don't care. But that bounty on your head could feed a lot of hungry bellies. Attack! <laughs> Jesus. As you say. Oh, his head came off. Nasty. You cannot win. Defend yourself. That'll do it. Well, that was pointless deaths there, boys. <laughs> Should have stayed at home. Didn't get much in the way of shinies often, didn't we? Actually walked up there to see if he could get in there. I doubt it, but no. Double check this tree didn't come back to life after we. Uh... No. Right, onward. Oh, the blacksmith's gone with his son. Let's have a quick look at our log here. Yeah, all the jobs are done there, aren't they? You found the cash mentioned in Rigby's last will and testament. Deliver it to Jetta and Redcliffe. Yeah, that's fine. Alright, well this is a perfect place to wrap things up for that part, people. We've gone on for way longer. I may have edited this down into part A and part B because that's I might have been going for nearly two hours there. Um, so I may well have put this up in two parts and we will be back in part five not too long from now. It has been an honour and a privilege serving for you again and I will see you guys soon. Take it easy. Bye.